Glory to God, hallelujah. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you back in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to this awesome session. God bless you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And this is the atmosphere of possibilities with Sister Iris. Thank you so much for joining this amazing family. God bless you. If you're new, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. If you're old, thank you for always coming back. God bless you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. He wants you dead by Urkos. The, the enemy wants you dead by Urkos. Talking about this dirt is not a physical dirt. The enemy wants your spiritual life dead. Because lately you have been praying and it is disturbing them from attacking you, from attacking your neighbors, from attacking everyone that is connected to you. So they want this spiritual life dead. They want everything that has been sending light out the dead in you. They want it dead by Urkos. They want that spiritual life dead by all costs. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. When you are in a place and you believe in God, you pray all the time. The whole of that environment is safe because of you. The whole of that environment has light because of you. So the enemy is angry because they cannot get to you and they cannot get to the people around your neighborhood. They cannot get to the people that are close to you because you have prayed and covered them. So they are angry and they are trying everything possible. They want that spiritual life there. There is somebody you used to pray every day. You used to study the word of God, but all of a sudden you cannot longer do that anymore. You have been asking yourself question, what is happening? You just have this weakness in your body each time when you want to do it. At the end of the day, you end up not doing it. The Bible says... By strength shall no man prevail. And you decided to just lay low. The, God says that's the enemy trying to afflict you because they want that spiritual life there. They don't want to see you saving people. They don't want to see you praying for people. They don't want to see you doing the things you are doing right now. But as I pray for you, the Lord is restoring back your spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus. It is an attack. Yes, there is body weakness. There are sometimes you feel like you want to pray. Sometimes you feel like you don't want to pray. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That is the plan of thy enemy. But as I make this prophetic declaration over your life, your prayer life is being restored in the name of Jesus. I pray for you on that grace. May God restore your prayer life in the name of Jesus. May God restore your prayer life in the mighty name of Jesus. May God restore your life in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you, family. I love you so much. See you in our next session. Shalom.